Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah and this is Frank Speaking with Glory. Guys, tonight's HOH challenge was mad. It was crazy. I was literally kneeling on my bed like this and I was doing like one football challenge and like, oh my God, oh so nanky. What's going on? You know, guys, it was quite interesting and you know, everybody is actually looking forward to the HOH challenge because remember, the HOH challenge is another way to create a sort of veto power for the head of house against um, nomination for possible eviction all right so guys all the housemates were really really looking forward to today's hoh challenge likewise me and i'm sure that you two were also looking forward to today's hoh challenge but before i continue guys um let me use this moment to inform you guys that if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel <laughs> i know you guys are thinking that how to give one serious announcement <laughs> I'm sorry guys but that just made me laugh so hard okay guys i'm sorry but this is this is actually serious information now a lot of you you know you've been on this channel for so long and you are yet to subscribe the question is what are you waiting for i don't understand are you not entertained are you not happy being here don't mind me guys but please take a moment pause this video guys and Click on the red subscribe button to become a part of this family. And if you always want to receive a lot of my videos every day, I upload multiple times daily, guys. That said, guys, just click on the white bell button to turn on post notification. Okay? Okay? Now that said, let's get into the main video. Okay, guys, so we already know the deal about the HOA challenge. There is no veto power this season. The only person that has veto power, that is power of protection against nomination or possible eviction this season is the HOH and the deputy. Remember, in previous seasons of Big Brother Niger show, there was no deputy head of house. But this season, there is a deputy head of house, okay? And the deputy head of house also enjoys the perks that comes with winning the HOH. So if you don't know the perks, guys, one of the perks includes having the hoh lounge to yourself and also having ultimately immunity away from nomination of the public for possible eviction and also um, nomination from the housemates right so another thing is that you also have the power the veto power to choose a deputy all by yourself okay so guys these are the, the perks that comes with winning the hoa challenge and so aside the fact that these housemates do not take the arena game serious eh you see this hoh challenge they take it serious as if their life depends on it and i do not blame them so guys tonight they all got out in the arena to have their game but after biggie gave them all the rules and regulations as usual one person stood out and that is lecon so apparently lecon had sprained his ankle during the day whilst they were probably doing their exercise or something and Biggie told him that, listen, Leko, um, it would be like adding more pain to the pain you already have, you know, if we allow you to do the HOH. Of course, Biggie didn't say it this way. I mean, I'm just paraphrasing to you guys. <laughs> Biggie is not that cool. Biggie is not that soft or nice, okay? So, Biggie just told him that he is exempted from the HOH challenge, you know, but if he is lucky to be picked as a deputy, then he will not be up for eviction. But... If he is not lucky to be picked as a deputy, then automatically, together with the rest of the housemates, then Leko, whether he get broken leg or not, he is going to be up for possible eviction. That said, guys, the housemates started their um, their challenge, you know, and guys, it was just so interesting. So, guys, the housemates started playing their game. Remember, it's still the same game of dice. It has not changed. I think the game has the same characteristics of the... Hey, God, that's, that grammar is too big for what I want to explain. I think the game is the same as the snakes and ladders that we already know, right? And remember, Biggie had told the housemates from week one that this is the same game that they are going to continue playing till the end of the show and guys let me not lie to you i really really love the idea of this game because there is no physical strength attached it's all a game of chance it's a game of luck you know so there's nothing to say that oh men or the boys are going to win more than the girls no it's all about chance it doesn't matter what gender you are so whether you are big or whether you're small low as your luck they carry you rich that is how you're going to play the game and that is how you're going to possibly you know be successful at it you know so all the housemates played the game they rolled their die and guys it wasn't really funny at all then somebody nengi actually got almost close 
to getting the HOH challenge and um, to getting the HOH title. So this is what happened. Even when she was counting, she did not even know that she was supposed to put her, you know, totem, you know, where she was supposed to put it, you know. So it was the rest of the housemates that actually reminded her or even told her that, hey, this is where you're supposed to put it. So us were thinking that, you know, Nengi has won HOH again for the second time. You know, me, I was even very excited, said that, hey, wahala oti shele, hey, who is she going to choose between prince and ozo of course i know she's not going to choose ozo anyways but you know i was just really really curious as to what is gonna happen but then guys i thought i had seen it all tonight and then ozo won the hoa challenge guys on a perfect score he didn't even have to struggle he rolled the first die he got six he rolled again like guys it's as if eh, ozo's parents and his family members they've been praying serious prayers or they've been probably doing fasting and prayer for this guy because ha, whoever has been praying for Ozo outside the house <laughs> the prayer worked because guys Ozo did not even have to stress at all every die he rolled got him the right and accurate figure to enable him to get to the HOH spot and guys that was how he won look at me shouting in my room guys I was literally screaming I was jumping on my bed I was just shouting I was just screaming guys because I was so excited I was so happy for us oh my god guys because Another thing again is that all the rest of the housemates, they shared this joy. They were really, really happy for Ozo. And the reason why they're happy for Ozo is because today they had their diary session. And Biggie kept on asking all the housemates that, why, um, who do you want to win the HOH challenge aside from yourself, you know? And most of them, they chose Ozo. Most of the housemates chose Ozo, you know? And I guess they are choosing him because of the day um, Praise and Lucy had the fight over food. And Ozo gave that powerful speech about togetherness about understanding about tolerance about consideration about being sensitive and being respectful you know he gave that powerful speech and guys let me not lie to you that day that Ozo gave that speech i just officially declared myself as mrs Ozo offline <laughs> oh my god guys no, no no i'm just joking but guys it was so amazing and interesting to listen to Ozo talk about all those things he said, you know, and I really, really supported him, you know, from my own small corner, you know. So, guys, that said, Ozo won the HOA challenge and it wasn't a thing of, you know, the rest of the housemates not wanting him to win. No, everybody wanted Ozo to win because they feel like he's somebody that is very, very reasonable, he's very, very understanding and considerate and he's very, very kind, especially. Like, even today, guys, during Ozo's um, diary session, Biggie asked him who he wished you know was gonna win the hoh and he said eric and biggie asked him why and he said that you know eric already faced eviction so he wouldn't want eric to go through the same thing again so his wish was that eric was gonna win the hoh so that he will have at least one week to rest and chill his mind you know before facing um eviction or nomination any other week and guys when Ozo said that i felt really sorry for him i'm like hey guys it's as if this guy did not watch big brother Nigeria show at all because don't get me wrong guys it's not like it's a bad thing to be nice to other housemates it is though but when it comes to making decisions like this i feel like sometimes you have to be selfish and put yourself first because after all it's a game and at the end of the day the person that you're rooting for inside the house you don't know if the person is even rooting for you so it's like a 50 50 game of chance thingy you just have to just count yourself as lucky and try to play your game as smartly as possible so that said guys also won the HOA challenge and as I said all the housemates are really really excited for him but now now is the time for Ozo to now choose who is going to be his deputy and as usual Biggie gave him 20 good minutes to go and think about who he is going to pick as his deputy and then Biggie is going to call him back into the diary room and ask him and then he's going to speak about it so I presume that it's the same process that Biggie used with Lucy last week that um, Biggie is going to use with um, Ozo this week so when Biggie said what he said guys the first thing that came to my head was oh my god who is Ozo going to pick I mean there's Eric who he's feeling sorry for who he wants to have one week of rest there's dorothy who is his very very good friend in fact his bestie in the house and guys trust me if also does not pick dorothy hey, hey, hey there'll be fire on the mountain i am telling you guys and then there's also nengi who is Ozo's love interest in the house i mean Ozo's unrequited love interest in the house so guys amongst these three people I was just thinking in my head that oh my god who is Ozo going to pick who is Ozo going to pick and lo and behold guys Ozo shocked me or should I say Ozo surprised me 
Guys, you will not believe it. You will not believe it. If I hear them, if I hear anybody come here and ask me, Glory, why are you doing also pick Nangi for that potato? Eh? Keep quiet! Like, guys, I am so freaking excited that Ozo picked Dorothy as his deputy for HOH today. If he had chosen otherwise, hey! Guys, Ozo was confused. The tension in the house this evening after the HOA challenge, guys, it was crazy. Ozo was just confused. Um, Neo was doing the devil's handwork, going to go and try to convince Ozo that Ozo should choose Nengi. Ozo should forget about the other person. That's Dorothy. But Ozo was confused because, come on, um, Nengi was giving all her attention to Prince. And one would expect, or she would be expecting that probably Ozo will come and pick her so that they will, they will try to, you know, razzle her up again. So there will be an item in the house then later guys Ozo was having a conversation with Tolani Badge was just like he doesn't even know what to do you know that he's trying not to think with his head and he's also trying not to think with his heart and guys we know who is occupying his heart and his head Nenge is occupying Ozo's heart and Dorothy is occupying Ozo's head you know so Ozo was very confused and then Neo came again doing the devil's hand work as usual and you know now you need to choose this one then no talk to this one. I said you go and sit down and beg ah you like doing too much but at the end of the day guys Gigi called Ozo up you know called all the housemates into the lounge and then he asked Ozo to announce his deputy and when Ozo announced Dorothy as the deputy guys it was very obvious on Nengi's face that Nengi was not having it she was not happy about it at all and guys trust now Ozo was not feeling good at all did I remember did I tell you guys that today is Ozo's birthday you know so Ozo was just really really excited about winning the HOH you know I mean today is his birthday so for him he felt like okay last week I came this close to winning and I did not get it but this week today I got it so it seems like it's the perfect birthday gift but his birthday is still not complete because also would have wanted to choose you know Nengi but then there is Dora in the picture and the truth is Dorothy would have never forgiven Ozo if Ozo had not picked her for deputy HRH and I'm glad that Ozo picked Dorothy if Ozo had picked Nengi hey I forsake go to the house to go flog him. You know, but guys, I'm really excited. And then now, Nengi is not looking happy. So Ozo is following her up and down in the house, you know, trying to tell her that, you know, I care about you. And Nengi, she's not happy, oh, but she's just acting as if she's happy. And then she's saying, no, 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 no. The only thing that, that she's not bothered, she's got this. She's not going anywhere. She's staying in this house. You know, the only thing she's sad about is the fact that she did not win HOH, you know, that she wanted to win, you know. But then now, guys, we know that Nengi is not happy. Don't worry, guys. Ozo is still following her up and down in the house. I'm going to bring you guys more details in another video. For now, Ozo won HOH, Dorothy is the deputy and I am freaking excited about it and I want those two people to have a lot of math fun. <laughs> I'll see you guys in another video. Have an amazing night rest. Bye.